finally found our triple apple flake cocoa. He is finally level 31 in this cute little strawberry mug that I painted. This did nothing for my skin. No, what's the good call when I'm making these Let's Play? Beat the Elite Four, that's when the credits roll in and you can like you complete the game, right? Is that the same here? Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is day 11 of the anniversary fest. I feel like things are slowly dying down now, but I do have something very exciting to show you guys later. So let's start with the sleep report. It is a little later than usual from when I'm usually recording these episodes, so... Yeah, I feel a little out of my rhythm, but... Things like that happen. Whoa, it took two hours to fall asleep. Let's see what sort of Pokemon show up for us today. Now, I haven't been fortunate enough to find a shiny yet, so there's that. But we never know if one decides to show up. There's a new one that we never saw before. And then the Quaxley is there, which is good because I still need to catch a Quaxley. Alright, and this one, I forgot what what its name is. A Skeledurge. Skeledurge? One-eyed sleep. Very interesting look from its base evolution as a Fuecoco. So the fireball on its head has gained a soul. So someone had to die for this. And when Skeledurge sleep is shallow, the fireballs move around and sometimes play pranks. Skeledurge is an excellent caretaker and never gets angry no matter what's done to it. It just keeps sleeping. Huh, interesting. So it would be great with kids actually all right nothing is hungry mm, I could give the Quaxley a poke biscuit and then hopefully by the nap session I catch it with my bonus biscuit if it's not hungry but if it is hungry then that's a different story so I think I, but then what if it doesn't even show up, you know, I will feed it just in case by the off chance that it is a critical capture and it's not. So that's pretty much the <laughs> sleep report. At least we found a new sleep style, but I do have something to show you guys. So we will look at that right after this. So I read some comments before recording and thank you so much for everyone for your tips and encouragement about playing the Let's Play of Pokemon Violet. It is super handy, especially reading everyone's tips. Last video, I expressed my concern about messing up the EVs of my Mimigul, but we had this lovely viewer who mentioned that there will be berries that I can collect later on to correct the bad EVs. And I did not know that. So thank you so much for letting me know. I decided to put Mimi Ghoul back on my team. I wanted to name it Mimi, uh, you know, like short for Mimic because it looks like a Mimic, but I couldn't name it because it is unnameable, unrenameable. So what I wanted to show you guys, I caught a, oh, these ones are just like, ones that we caught together but i haven't gone through them but i mean why not right just as a little recap of what we caught a double apple doo doo sub skills and i felt like i could do better because i was very adamant on finding a triple apple fue coco and then we have this quaxley over here a bold nature so speed of help is down it is leaks in the middle i already have a double leak quaxley so we'll see whether or not i'll invest in that but here is another Fue Coco, double sausages, ingredient finding M, which is great, but look at the um, look at the nature. Speed of health down, which is kind of 
sad. But we do have helping speed S and M at 50 and 75, which is pretty late, but still not worth the investment because it is double sausage. And as you guys know, I have a Charizard that is double sausage, so it doesn't really make sense for me to look for a double sausage. And then yet again another dud. And then we have, oh, was that a little bit of a sneak peek? But we finally found our triple apple fue coco. And if you look over here, the first gold skill is kind of meh. It's energy recovery bonus, but we got a berry finding. And then we got an ingredient finder M. So it kind of competes with berry finding, but I don't know. Do I really mind? Do I really care at this point? Probably not. I mean, I'm happy I have my triple apple. And then we got skill trigger S. Helping speed M and perhaps the best nature you can get for an ingredient finding. We have ingredient finding up and EXP down. So I did star this. Very, very happy. Let me know what you guys think. Is the search done? I think it's done. And then the slow poke because it was just one away from being caught and I was like, you know what? Why not? And it's a berry finding as well. Energy recovery up and these are the ingredients so I'm pretty happy with that Fue Coco now let me show you the Quaxley so this is the double leaks Quaxley that I've got helping speed S skill trigger S helping speed M inventory up S and then ingredient finder S at the very bottom and it is main skill chance up and energy recovery down and then the other one I have is right here it is also double leaks and helping speed, skill trigger, helping speed M, inventory up S, ingredient finder again at the very bottom, and it is a gentle nature, main skill, chance up, and energy recovery down. Let's see why I started this one. Oh, because it's berry finding, and it has two um, ingredient finders, but they're pretty late, and I was really hoping for double leaks because I finally upgraded my bean dude thanks to the mini candy machine thingy mabob going on right now so he is finally level 31 and i've been collecting a uh, insane amount of beans like i think i solved my bean problem now i need to solve my leek problem because my leek farmers right now are my doug trio and my ditto but Sometimes we have days where it's really good and then we have days where it's like what's going on man So let's open the anniversary gift. Let's hope that it's a Quaxley incense Because that's the last incense that I need and it's a sleep point So the last remaining gifts for the last three days of the event are the 10k dream shards the 200 diamonds and the Quaxley incense I need that but then if I end up finding or catching that Quaxley that we saw earlier, I may be holding this off until the water type event that should be coming up before the Suicune event. So I'm holding on to that Totodile incense just for that reason. I also have a Cramorant incense, but I don't think I'll be catching any Cramorants anytime soon. Don't really have a need for them, but we have five more Poke Biscuits for sticking to our bedtime three times. So. Very happy about that because we're very low on biscuits. Let's pick up our sleep points and then see what the daily lottery brings us today. So I have 10k sleep points now. I think that's the highest I've collected so far. We got 10 diamonds. Well, of course it's like the highest now because we got a lot of rewards and a lot of goodies for these past two weeks. And then it was also the good sleep day event, which gives you an extra bump in the amount that you get all right so i did feed breakfast earlier today it wasn't a critical but i was able to make my ninja salad i do not have enough right now so we will wait we have until six yesterday i beat the clock it was 5 59 i was rushing in my lunch right before um dinner time rolled around and everything was cooked and I wasn't sure if it would register as a meal being made once the dish was made or once Snorlax ate. 
So once the dish was made, it was still 5.59 and I was like, whoa, thank God, right? But then at six o'clock, that was when Snorlax was actually eating. So I was a little concerned. So as you guys could see, that green grass soybean, wow, we're collecting a lot. Actually, I should probably remove a pupitar and maybe it's a good opportunity to add aria so i could keep the team healthy oh wait actually i will remove all and i'll add live to collect more ginger instead so that solves a problem i do miss having a healer and because i'm on cyan beach as you can see none of my pokemon are the favorite berry typing but we will ignore that. So before we go on to the research community tab, let me share you guys my drink today. I am starting this afternoon with a spearmint tea in this cute little strawberry mug that I painted last year or two years ago. And the tea has a little, kind of like a fortune cookie. So what it says here is nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished. Very wise. Also a good reminder for those to just slow down if you feel like you've been in a very rush, rush part of your life. But let's take a sip. It's a little hot still, but it's really good. And I've been noticing, so you guys know I've been struggling with like these cystic huge pimples that are deep, deep within my jawline here for about two weeks now. And then last week, I reintroduced spearmint tea into my routine and it has made such a difference, especially when clearing up the little pimples that I had here, especially. Wow. I initially bought this because I saw all the girlies talk about this and say that this is like the lifesaver when it comes to breakouts. You spray it on your skin, you spray it before you work out, after you work out, when you're on the flight, all that jazz. This did nothing for my skin but dry it out. Now maybe it's just didn't work out with my skin, but was it worth $30? I think not. When you could spend more than half the price for a box of spearmint tea and heal yourself from within. So this is a miss. Spearmint tea, my go-to, I should have known, tried and true. If you guys are dealing with that, I recommend picking up some spearmint tea. Now rumor has it is that it helps with hormones and if you are a woman like me, then sometimes during your strawberry week, your hormones go a little whack, which can have different side effects. One of them being breaking out. And I heard that when you break out in the jawline specifically, it means that it's a hormonal thing. So that has helped so much. And I'm finally feeling confident in my skin again. So it's a little skin update. I'm very happy that it's finally like relaxing my skin i mean i'm feeling more relaxed too because of it and things are just looking good and in terms of the pokemon playthrough wow i did not realize how big of a game it is because i feel like i'm used to the older games where exploration was it was fun, but it was limited, right? Because they were just limited on what they could do with their map layouts and everything like that. So 100%ing dungeons and maps were far more easy than it is in Pokemon Violet because it is open world. And because I am a completionist, it is making it a little difficult for me to know what's the good call when I'm making these Let's Plays because it's like, I want to explore everything, but I feel like most people just enjoy the or more so enjoy the story right but then I think about myself like if I were to create it for myself and what I personally like to I can't tell if that's shiny what I personally like to watch I don't mind when I'm watching let's plays and they go through like the low points where they're just exploring like solid 30 40 an hour minute of exploring but I don't know. I mean, the one that I recorded yesterday was two hours and 28 minutes long. And that is just 
exploring the entirety of Mesagoza and then the school and then doing the uh, lessons as well and when I last left off where I last left off was the start of the treasure hunt and so yeah that entire thing took like two hours and 28 minutes we have not even explored any new lands or territories or caught any pokemon or battled in that gameplay so yeah that's my dilemma like a part of me is like well if i enjoy watching those type of things i'm sure i'll find my people who want to watch that stuff too and then i see like 12 hour long gameplays no commentary no face cam and those videos are thriving like i feel like sometimes people just want to oh let's look at fabian's team people just want to have something in the background and have some like busy noise you know it's like white noise but not we're just talking and playing games while you're doing stuff and i kind of want the same because if i'm relaxing playing my pokemon game on the sofa i'm looking for a let's play as well that is long enough to accompany me during my own let's play but yeah let me know so let me know what you guys think like do you care about that am i thinking about it too much or should i cut out the bulk of the quote-unquote boring parts and just focus more on the storyline another thing because once the treasure hunt starts you are you have full reign on what you want to do do i want to go for the champion league or yeah what well, that's what's called right the champion do i want to become champion do i want to fight all the gym battles or do i want to help out my boy arvin or do i want to take down team star which also i realized if the game released during this time especially with meg the stallion's like star song that came out i don't know what, if that's what it's called but i'm sure you guys know which song i'm talking about those people would go for a field day Team Star, Jasmine Moon, congratulations on the shiny sphere. It's a beautiful girly pop color pink. So yeah, I, I met uh, Team Star yesterday and Cassiopeia, who I don't know who it is. I can't tell if that bandit is shiny or I'm just not used to seeing it. I don't remember the eyes being pink. But I think it is. If it is, congratulations. Oh, and Alcia found a shiny slowpoke. Congrats. And look at their shiny Altaria. So I'm not sure exactly how... Oh, and TW, congrats on the shiny Pikachu. I thought I found a shiny Pikachu yesterday, but this is what a shiny Pikachu looks like. So yeah, with so many objectives now unlocked for me, now that the treasure hunt is starting, I'm not really sure like what I should do and what is considered like complete gameplay. Because in the previous games, once you beat the gyms and then do the victory road and you beat the elite four, that's when the credits roll in and you can like you complete the game, right? Is that the same here or would I have to finish the gyms? the elite four helping out arvin with the titans and taking down team star and then with with the credits roll in afterwards like if you guys know let me know so i'm thinking what i will do is in terms of gameplay i will do a gym and then i will alternate wait i will do a gym titan team star and then gym titan team star but then there's more there's more titans right i don't know i forgot and yeah my first objective i guess is just killing not killing beating a gym leader and i was looking at the map to my to my west is the bug type which is recommended for well the description says it should it's recommended as the first gym you go to and then to my east is another gym and i think i'll go to that one later on but i'm very excited to play and continue let me know what you guys think because i have like two hour 28 minutes of game footage from yesterday and i don't know if i should chop it up or just leave it as is but if you guys have any opinions i would really appreciate it let's collect some items before we say our farewells 
Also, what do you think about the Fui Coco I got? Do we like it? Do we not? Is it our Fui Coco? Is the, is the search done? Let me know as well. And thank you guys so much once again for tuning in. I really appreciate it every time you do. Join us in the Discord if you haven't yet. Very great people there and also a great place to flex your Pokemon. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, good luck, have fun, bye.